traffic. Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, of course, Dolan Meister, and we are going to try to leave this ridiculous parking lot, as I do on every day when I leave for work. From work, um, as I previously mentioned, I am connected to a uh, movie theater, and we actually share the same parking lot. So the problem is because I'm leaving an office, people driving in are just assholes and they don't know how to drive so and they're gonna just sit in the middle because they don't realize that these lanes are actually two-way traffic it's two-way traffic ah it's good times good times so if you guys follow me on twitter today you know it's the overhead lights by the way that's totally flashing um today you know i picked up a new toy Yes, I did. I got myself, uh, and I'll show it to you in a second once we get into better lighting, because right now the light is garbage because we're driving through this parking lot. Um, I got myself a new mod, um, a new box mod that I'm totally stoked about. This thing is baller. I love it so much. It's ridiculous. Hello, I'll suffer. Ooh, that's bright. Come on, camera. Refocus. White balance. White balance. White balance. Ah, there we go. All right. Hey, look, you can actually see me, and I'm clear now, and I'm not all grainy and fuzzy because of being in the parking garage. I picked up the Snow Wolf. Can you, can you see that? Snow Wolf 200-watt mod. This thing is baller. I love it so much. It goes up to uh, 200 watts. Um, are we locked? Okay. Uh, this thing has uh, multiple different settings, one of them being a temperature control setting and the other one being... I'm gonna go right and then take a left. That seems like a good idea. It might take a little longer. Uh, you know what we can do? I got an idea. All right, I know we're getting out of here. Uh, let me just hit it real quick. So I got this bad boy cranked up to 95 watts right now. Uh, my old mod, which I was running, I should have kept it out so I could show you. I was running the Segeli 100 watt mod. Um, and I love that thing. Don't get me wrong. The thing was great. We're going to open that window a bit and let it vent out over there. Um, the, I love the Segelli. Don't get me wrong. I'm still going to use it. I'm going to put my tank, which I have the Atlantis tank, which I run on a straight battery right now. I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to put it on my Segelli. I'm probably running it at like 35, 45 watts because this doesn't need a lot. This is a, a half, half ohm setup, so it's 0.5 ohms. Um, great little tank. I love it so much. Apparently, I don't make them anymore, is what I've heard, and it's becoming more difficult to get our get our hands on the actual uh, atomizers for them. So that sucks. But it's just been a really, really solid tank, and I really like it. Really easy to fill. One of the issues I find with a lot of the tanks is that sometimes the tank will actually get stuck onto the uh, the base, so it gets really hard to to unscrew them. That was one of the issues I had a lot with my old Kanger setups. Uh, and I love the Kangers. Don't get me wrong, but they definitely would be derpy. I'm going right into the sun. Sorry about that. Um, so they were definitely really derpy at times when they were when I was dealing with them. I'm going a really roundabout way to get home right now, but you know what? You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go. We're gonna try something here. Um, I don't know what you're doing, but I'm gonna pull in front of you. So apparently you're gonna sit there like a mile back. That's weird. Um. So I really like the Segeli. Uh, the nice thing about the Segeli is that it has uh, copper contacts, which is actually really good. This does not. This actually has um, uh, steel contacts, which I thought was interesting for a 200-watt mod that it was going to run at steel. Maybe that's because of the temperature control. So that's the other thing about this mod specifically is it has temperature control. It goes, it's got a fairly wide range. Um, I don't remember what it is. Since we're sitting at a traffic light. Let me see if I can grab the box real quick. Uh, it's got a pretty ridiculous temperature control range. Oh, light's turning. Eh, I'm going to pull the box out. Yes, I can. Um, it goes from 100 degrees Celsius to about 350 degrees Celsius or 212 Fahrenheit to 662 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a pretty wide range. 
Uh, and the temperature control stuff is something I haven't actually messed with yet at all. So I've not actually used anything temperature control before. Uh, the difference between temperature control and the standard ones is the standard setup, like what I'm running right now, uses Canthal. And the Canthal is only for wattage, so I can only use a, a variant of, of wattages, and that's where I go from the 100 to 200 watts. Um, but with this, uh, with the temperature control stuff, yeah, this is terrible because I gotta get over like three lanes right now. This is gonna dump me onto 610 otherwise. Ugh. Ugh. Um, the temperature control stuff is is new to me, so I've never I've never actually used any of it before. You know, one more lane, this car there. Um, and with that, you have to use nickel. And I was actually talking to Joe about it today, Joe. Uh, and he was saying that he didn't like, or his kid doesn't like the uh, the temperature control because the nickel is really brittle. So that's one of those things that I'm gonna have to think about and investigate a bit into. And I need to do some research on you know the big difference between them. But it's nice to have a box that I can do both with. So I can go canthal if I want to do canthal, or I can go temperature control if I want to do temperature control and get the nickel. I think it's nickel and titanium are the two different ones if I remember correctly. And I would imagine titanium is probably worse than nickel. Uh, but it allows you then to, to control with temperature. And what that does is the temperature control allows you to basically control um, the the heat, which gives you different flavors, just a lot of different things. So it, it's, it's sort of a, there's a lot of, I guess, advantages of the temperature control. I don't know, it's still kind of a new thing. Like it's been around for probably about a year or two now, but it's still, there's not a lot of stuff for it yet. It's only starting to become a little bit more popular right now with Tesla. Um, so I'm curious to play with it. I'll probably pick up some nickel, and I'd like to get a new uh, a new mod. Um, Joe suggested a couple. There's a couple I've been looking at myself. I'd like to get what's called a Tornado, which are freaking sweet mods. Um, so we'll see. Uh, it was the Royal something. I don't remember which one the, that Joe suggested. I'll have to look it up and, and see if I can find it. Um, but he said it was really good, and he really, really likes his mods, so definitely be looking into it um so yeah temperature control is a new thing i'd like to play with uh other than that so far this thing is rock solid one of my biggest concerns is that it's glass so there's glass on the front and the back so i'm afraid to drop it because any of you've ever had an iphone like the old iphone was it threes or whatever you drop those suckers they freaking break and then the glass is shattered so that was kind of uh it's it's nice looking and, and this thing is a fingerprint magnet you touch it, and it's got a stinking fingerprint. I think I need to get over one more time. Here's your West Park. I got home this way before, so this is a new this is a new uh, new trial. Um, yeah, I'll need to get over once we get past this exit. So, all in all, so far the thing is rock solid. I really like the construction of it. I've been really happy with it, and I like it a lot. So I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to using this a lot more. Uh, my biggest complaint about it is it gets really hot, and that's kind of disappointing. Now, the Sigeli did too. The Sigeli got warm, but the difference is this is all metal on the outside, so the metal holds the heat. Now, it dissipates it pretty quick. Like, I I was vaping on it, you know, not too long ago, kind of heavy, and now it's, it's cooled off. Like, it's still a little warm to the touch, but it's, like, room temperature now instead of it being, uh, like really hot in my hand and it's not like uncomfortably hot it's just more like a little warm kind of feeling like 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 lukewarm water it's just it's like drinking lukewarm water you know it just feels weird it's not super hot but eh, all in all really happy with it so far I'll tell you what next week i'll give you guys a better review of it and we'll look at what i think of it after using it for a week because so far I don't see anything wrong with it. Uh, there's a couple of complaints I've heard. The biggest thing is the temperature control, that the the temperature control is inaccurate with full batteries. So I guess when the batteries start to drain, it does become more accurate, which is strange. But that's the one thing I've heard uh, said about it, and it's, it's kind of common across the board. But it's consistently inaccurate is what I've also heard. So it's not one of those things where it's like, oh, it might be inaccurate this time and different accuracy the next time and whatnot. It's consistently inaccurate every single time. It always gives you the same reading all the way across the board. And then as you use it, as the batteries drain and become lower in power, it apparently becomes uh, more accurate, which I thought was kind of funny. So we'll see. So that is my new toy. 
and I'm really happy with it, like I said, so far. So we'll definitely be uh, we'll definitely be using this over the next week. And like I said, I'll, I'll come back to you guys next week, and we'll talk about it again, and we'll take a look at how I feel about it next week. And this person's going to slowly turn into the gas station. Thank you. So another thing I want to talk about is uh, is kind of a topic that's on my mind right now, and that topic is jealousy. And what I mean by that is uh, today, for those of you guys who don't know, Pixel Riffs has broken 3,500 or 3,500 subscribers. Uh, he got a shout out from OMG Chad, and I know, I know, there's some of you guys because I know a bunch of YouTubers watch me uh, that can understand where I'm coming from with this. Pixel Riffs is a good friend of mine. Okay. Um, we talk and I've had interactions with him and heck I even did a video with him. I like Pix a lot. He's a great guy. Honestly, he deserves it. Like hands down, I cannot knock him at all for this. I can't be like, oh, he doesn't deserve this. No, it's not that's not what this is. What this is is me being stupid. And what I mean by that is I became jealous because he got all the fans. And there's nothing I can do about that. You know, I can sit here and I can hem and haw and be like, what about me? All I want, but that's dumb. And, and you know that's dumb if you look at my channel, because my channel's been really inconsistent lately. Pix is good at keeping consistent videos up. He's good at making amazing content. And he's doing those tutorials, which people apparently right now absolutely love. So he's doing all the right things and in all the right places. So he deserves every single penny of it. Like, like, or not penny, but every single subscriber he's gained. Like, I'm not, this isn't a, oh, I don't think he get, should get it. No, this is more of a me. This is more of me being honest with you guys and explaining something and then looking at it as well from your own standpoint. Because jealousy comes in many ways. And it's definitely one of those things that can be very damaging. And, and, and I've done my best to, to, not keep it down. Um, I've used my outlets and I've said, this fucking sucks. Whoa, I totally swore. I normally don't swear. I am sorry. Don't use that word. <laughs> um, this stinking sucks. Uh, and I feel better. I mean, because I am jealous. I, I, you would honestly, I don't care who you are. If you had this happen to you, you'd be just as jealous. And I know there are others out there because I've talked to a couple people that are like, yeah, you know, they're just like, rrr, rrr. because it's, it's one of those things. And it's not so much that we're, we're, I don't know what it is we're jealous of. And that's the thing that makes it even worse. It's just that we're jealous of the fact that he's doing better than you. And that comes with anything in life. That doesn't even have to do specifically with YouTube. That just comes in general. Someone drives past you in a nice car and you go, oh man, that car's really nice. Obviously they're making more money than me, which makes me jealous of their life kind of thing. Uh, man, this thing could be a lot bigger. I got to tell you, it's like right here. It would be nice. This is not meant for people of my stature. But it's something you need to deal with in your life. And it's sort of a, it's, it's hard sometimes not to be because it's human nature. It really is. At the end of the day, we are it, naturally, we will be jealous or envious of other people, whether it's money, whether it's a partner, whether it's just something physical or whatever in their life that you look at and you go, I wish I had that in my life. And I'm jealous that I don't. And that's just one of those things. There's, there's nothing, uh, you know, I can guarantee you there might be some people that look at this thing and be like, Oh man, I know exactly what that mod is. And I'm really jealous of it. You know, it's going to happen because people, that's the way we are. You know, but don't let it become a hindrance to you. Like, I don't plan to look at pics any different than I did before, you know, and it'll definitely be one of those things where, um, because what happens, here's what happens, and this is a common thing, but what happens is this person who you probably interact with on a fairly regular basis, but why not interact with all the time, uh, get something good in their life. Like for instance, a crap ton of subscribers. And you now as a small channel go, oh, I should totally collaborate with him now even more so than ever before because I want to mooch off of him. And that's not, 
and that can happen anywhere. That can happen with, oh, hey, you know, this person got a really good job and now is making a lot of money. And you're like, hey, let's go and hang out with them more now because maybe they'll buy me pizza or beer or other things because I'm there and we're hanging out. And, you know, oh, if you want to be a good, you know, entertainer, you should buy us a bunch of pizzas. And I'm not going to chip in because I don't make as much money as you do. That's not the way a friendship works. That's using somebody. And that's wrong. You know, and and, and I, I'm not against, you know, doing stuff with pigs. And I'm not saying that because he's now bigger than me, I'm not going to not, you know, try to collaborate with him. Um, but it's definitely one of those things where don't have that mindset. As I've said before, when I started doing YouTube, I started it for all the wrong reasons. And when you go to collaborate with somebody for that reason that you just want to collaborate, it's actually why a lot of the larger YouTubers refuse to do anything with a smaller YouTuber because they know that the reason why is because they want to sit there and basically mooch subscribers off of them. And that's not, that's not okay. That's, that's not okay. That shouldn't be the reason why you ever do that. So... Like, I hang out with Drax, and Drax is bigger than me. But Drax is my buddy. We hang out because we're friends. And I do stuff with D. D's bigger than me. But I hang out with her because she's my girlfriend. And that's the only way we can really hang out. Hang out with each other. Because, you know, we're not living in the same city. She lives in Virginia, and I live... Do I have to say that? I'm not sure. Anyways, now you know what state she lives in. It's a big state. And I live in Texas. So we're far away from each other. Um, D, you can slap me later if I'm not supposed to say that. Can we white balance this better? Let's go sit back here like this now so we're white balanced. Um, so, that's what's on my mind. That's some stuff to say. Let's hit this again. That was a really weak hit. What was that? Yeah, this mod. I love this mod. This mod is amazing. It, uh, I think it locks out is what that was. It has a, it has a, like, it just, it turns off, which is nice. I kind of like that. It conserves battery. And it has an automatic lockout feature, which is kind of, yeah, I guess it's after five minutes, automatic. Well, it should have locked by now. It's been 17 minutes. Weird. Um, but, yeah. check yourself before you wreck yourself, you know, it's that kind of stuff, you know, you want to make sure that what you're doing and why you're doing is for the right reasons, because to do something for the wrong reasons is not good, like, let's say entering into a relationship, and if it was a relationship, you know, this is actually pretty common among men, but men will enter into relationships just for sex, that's the wrong reason, unless that's the reason for your relationship, first of all, that relationship isn't going to last long, and second of all, that's just it's wrong. You know, there should be, in a relationship, it needs to be give and take. There needs to be both sides to a relationship, and you need to actually care for the person because it can really damage someone's psychosis if that's the only reason. Um, I know I've talked to people before that are like, yeah, you know, this guy, he totally got into my pants as soon as possible, and it's kind of broken me, and now I'm really weird with relationships because of that. It happens. Um, it's... I don't want to get away from the semi... Um, it's unfortunate, but humans are jerks. It's a different word I want to use. I already swore twice in this video. Humans are bastards, and some are worse than others. And it's unfortunate, but, you know, humans are inherently corrupt. And the people that stand above are the people that can get beyond that corruption and manage to actually be a good human being. Uh, it's just unfortunate that enough people aren't, and that's part of the problem with people nowadays. Um, so, anyways, enough of the heavy subjects. Uh, hopefully, this week I should have I recorded a video with uh, with Drax. Uh, we did the block squared video, so that um, Connor and I have actually decided to leave block squared. <laughs> I know we just did our first video on it, but. The other guys are all streamers, and we're not. So the problem... Oh, the gate's open. Uh, the problem with that that we run into is because we're not streamers, everyone else is super ahead of us because they're on. And a lot of them are, 
or work really weird hours so they can be on streaming for like hours and hours and hours during the day and they have just gone ape crazy and so far ahead of us that it's just not even funny so it's not uh it's it's not we're we're so far behind that it's 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 a joke um and it's unfortunate because it looked like a lot of fun and a lot of the people on there are really awesome and nothing against any of them. Like this isn't, this isn't a, you guys suck kind of thing. No, this is, this is what happens because there's a very different schedule. Like when, when Conrick and I did Agrarian Skies the first time, man, we would, we would get on for a couple of hours and then record. Heck when I'm doing Sky Factory with, with John, it was the same thing. You know, we just get on for a little bit and we'd record and then, uh, continue on our merry way. And then, you know, We'd only pretty much do stuff together when we were both on the server and recording. Also, the server was running on my computer, so it was a little bit more difficult to just do stuff without um, without both of us on because the way our setup was is that an actual parking spot that is an actual parking spot. Sweet. Is that another actual parking spot? That is another actual parking spot. Man, great day in the morning. Actually, it's evening now. Ooh, look at that sun flare. Flare. It's like a movie. You guys can't see me because it's not white balancing. Um, so we're in the discussion phase of what we're going to do now. So um, it happens. It is what it is. There's not much we can do about it, unfortunately. But whatever. Um, yes. So... Yesterday, you should have seen a World of Warcraft video. What? Um, now, if you guys don't like World of Warcraft, watch it anyways. Because the World of Warcraft is so not part of the video. Uh, what I did is I got into a call with Drax. And the two of us then hung out in a call with each other. And we played. And we just we just chilled. Like, I didn't even read. Like, it wasn't even any kind of role play. I didn't even go through and read any of the quests. I just accepted them and then followed the, the number or the, the, you know, the little blue things on the map until I got to where I needed to be and then took care of the quest and then turned it in. It basically just grind, grinded, ground, 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 whatever. Uh, instead of, like, actually getting into it. Like, Drax, I think he's doing, like, a role play and he's going through and reading the lore. He's getting really into the lore. And stuff, and I'm just on the free account right now. Like I'm up to the level 20. I'm not gonna. I don't even know if if it does well. I might do more, but for now, I'm just gonna stick with the the free level 20 thing. Kill the car. We get about a billion degrees in here in five minutes. Um, but you should check it out. Uh, even if, like I said, even if you don't like World of Warcraft, suck it up and watch it because the two of us just hang out and we talk. And if you guys like it enough, we might do more. It's a new format I'm going to try. And if you guys know who the Game Grumps are, it's kind of the format I'm stealing from them because what they do is they get in a call with somebody else and one of the guys plays a game and somebody else just kind of watches. And, and I was thinking about how I could do that. And the easiest way with that would be like Skype, do a shared desktop with Skype. And then the other person could watch me play some kind of crappy game, whatever I'm playing. And then we could just sit there and we can comment on the game. We can comment about whatever. But it's sort of a podcast slash gameplay uh, thing. So for right now, I'm going to be doing it through World of Warcraft until I hit level 20 and hit that level 20 cap. And if people really, really, really like World of Warcraft, then I might actually reactivate my account and play it some more. And then we can kind of go through. And then what I want to do is I want to have other people in the call. Like, not just Drax, but for sure Drax will probably be the most common person. And maybe grab on some other people and then just kind of go through the the motions and just play the game. I'm not even going to, like, the game is, is going to be background footage for you guys to watch while I'm doing something. And we'll comment on the game. Like, when we were playing, we were commenting about the game and what we were doing. But for the most part, we were just talking. You know, we talked about a bunch of different stuff. And part of it was when we played World of Warcraft originally and a couple of other things like that. Um, but tell me what you think of that uh, format, that idea, that concept... And then we'll kind of go from there too. So, yeah, that's really about it for the most part. Ooh, awkwardly, people walking past. Um, really don't have a lot of other things planned right now. Uh, I've got a couple of things in the works. I need to do some more Decidedly Vanilla. There wasn't any DV last week. I'm sorry. I've got some stuff I'm working on and some other things and things and stuff and things. So, Life's really busy for me right now. 
Um, so I'm trying to create content and I've just been really, I get home and I'm really burnt out and I just want to do nothing. Uh, I haven't even played that much video games to be honest. Like honestly, I've, I've been playing games less and less. So unfortunately it's one of those things that happens in life and it's not because I'm not enjoying playing video games. It's just that I get home and I'm just like, Oh, this day was crap. I just want to do nothing. And so I don't, which means that you guys suffer, which is unfortunate to you guys. And I'm sorry. So I need to get my button gear and start actually doing stuff again. And, uh, hopefully that'll be soon. So anyways, thanks for watching as always, guys. I really do appreciate it. I know you guys enjoy the vlogs. I will try to always keep these up because I do enjoy doing them. They're, they're easy to do and you guys always seem to like them and I can talk about stuff like my new awesome mod. That's good. That's good. I'm actually really happy with this. Oh, I can pull out my old mod. In case you never saw it, uh, this is my old mod that I was talking about. This is the Segeli, and it has a little like little rubber on it. But this thing was great, and it has the... I don't remember what the thing is. Can you focus on that? No. But it's got copper contacts in the inside, which is one of the big things about it that I liked. Uh, and then there's a copper contact up here, which was really nice. This was a great box, and what I'm going to do with it, to be honest, is I'm going to take this the Atlantis. Actually, let's do that real quick. Uh, take the Atlantis and, and chuck it right on the top here. But it needs another battery, so I've got an extra battery with the same kind that I'm running in here right now. Come on. You're going to be a jerk, aren't you? And now I want to come off. It's actually good that it's on here that tight. There we go. That means it doesn't want to come off very well. Part of it's because of the way the thing is. So I'll basically be running it like this. not bad it's a little heavy right now because it's top heavy because uh i don't have any batteries in the bottom part but that's a decent little setup um so anyways guys that about wraps it up like i said thanks for watching as always i am of course dolemeister and i do always appreciate you guys' feedback so please 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 feel free to give me some uh oh i got a question in my ass class my ask last FM, my ask FM and we'll answer that real quick and the question was uh do i prefer reddit over imager Personally, I use Reddit and then use that to get to Imager. Um, I don't generally just browse Imager. I honestly don't know how people do that. I, I've never really tried, I guess. So uh, that's how I use Imager is through Reddit. I, I do sometimes see stuff on the side and I click on it and go to it. But other than that, I don't directly browse Imager instead of Reddit. So I'm a Reddit guy. I won't go to Reddit. I use Reddit. I use Reddit on a daily basis. Uh, so Reddit is your answer. And I'll put that answer in the question. Um, I answered a bunch of questions too, by the way. I actually went and answered them. Uh, there's some that I didn't because they were sort of weird answers. And a lot of them were really old and out of date. Uh, oh, and in case you didn't see, I drive a 2009 uh, Volkswagen sports wagon turbo diesel. Um, so there you go. Now you know what I drive. And it's red. I love the station wagon. It is amazing. It's great for moving. It's great for long trips. I just love having a station wagon so much. And it makes me feel like an adult. It's such an adult car. It's great. All right, guys. I'm going to put all my junk back in my bag here. And I'm going to head inside. Thanks for watching, as always. We're going to sign off again for the last time. If you're not subscribed to me, do hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you guys like my little review here of my mod too, let me know. I'd like to do some more. I'm, I've been getting a lot of different juices. This is a hodgepodge of juices. And maybe I'll start doing some juice reviews, kind of like what Joe was doing. This is a bunch of different flavors I've been trying out recently. Um, there is a thing called Vape Summit that's up in October. I'm going to see if I can do some stuff there and get some recordings done as well while we're there and check out a bunch of stuff. So that'd be kind of neat. We'll see what we can do with that. So anyways, thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs> Love you guys. See you next time. Bye.